Hello, YouTube, and welcome back again to the Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Well, our YouTube channel, at least, not the actual podcast. Uh, but this video is going to be really short and sweet. I want to show you a few ways to speed up the tool uh, sheet because I know some people have said it's a little bit slow sometimes, and there's a few tricks you can do for both Cats Leagues and for Points League. So I want to walk you through both and how to speed it up because there's a few things you can delete. So let's start first with a Points League. Now, this is a Points League of mine. Uh, one of the ones that I use as an example in the last video of how to actually use the sheet to your advantage so there's a few things that you can do to speed it up now first off if you go to the draft leaderboard this is doing a lot of calculations so what you want to do is if you're in a points league only you don't need this I mean you can use it if you want like sometimes I like using kind of relative strength um, even for points leagues but it doesn't translate exactly so if it's being really slow you don't have to worry about deleting all of these columns you can delete every single one of those things to the right of total points and this total points is going to be all you really need and it'll cut down a lot on the calculations uh, the other thing you can do is if you go to view and then hidden sheets uh, there's something called standardized scores now this standard is standardized scores forgive me um, is the thing that actually works and calculates that uh, leaderboard now, if you're in a points league, again, and you don't care about that leaderboard from a relative strength perspective and you only want total points, then none of this matters. You can actually go ahead and just delete the entire sheet, and that'll speed it up quite a bit. Um, and then the last thing here that I'll mention uh, for points leagues that you can do is I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but what you can do is if you're really in a rut and it's being really, really slow, you can actually not use player rankings or goalie rankings. You can delete both of those. Um, and you can just use all player rankings because this is going to have all positions, all players, and it's just going to have total points. So if you're fine drafting based on total points and not ranks, then you can just delete um, the import sh the, the player rankings and the goalie rankings, and that'll speed it up a ton for points. Um, I, I like the player rankings even for points leagues, but I understand if it's slowing it down so much that it's unusable with the draft uh, board. So that's it for, for actual points leagues so for cats leagues uh let's go over how you can speed that up a little bit so the very first thing you can do that speeds it up a ton is this all player ranking sheet which is for points leagues can be completely deleted so you can select this and delete the sheet here that's the number one thing you can do there uh the next thing you can do is under under player rankings well after you delete all player rankings standardized scores you still need the next thing you can do is in the draft leaderboard uh, let's go over to one of my my leagues that is a cats league. This is a cats league, so this is the the leaderboard. What you can do to speed it up quite a bit is delete any columns that you don't use. So, for example, in this one, I don't use shorthanded goals, shorthanded points. I don't use face off. I don't use anything over here to the right. It's calculating game winning goal, but I I don't use it. Um, so you can delete all of this to the right um, in your cats leagues and anything that you use and feel free to delete total points as well. And that'll cut down a lot on the calculations that it's running on this draft leaderboard. Uh, the other thing that you can do in a cats league and granted in a cats league, there's a lot less. Um, there's a, unfortunately a lot less than you can do to, to speed it up than you can in a points league. Uh, but another thing that you could do if you want to speed it up a little bit is that same standardized scores sheet uh what you could do on this sheet and, and it's loading here for a second but it's calculating where to pull from uh, and so say that you're already set with you know on the draft leaderboard that you want to draft with skater import sheet one or you want to use skater import sheet one the standardized scores is going to do all the calculations depending on what you choose you could just select all of this copy it uh, and then paste it as values and so then it's not going to have any calculations in the background that are going to slow you down um, and so that's one thing I'd think about doing it shouldn't be necessary it should be fast enough without having to do that uh, but that's kind of like a last step it's really really slow I cannot use it sort of thing uh, and other than that really there's not much else uh, it should be fast enough I mean if you don't want to use this leaderboard you can go ahead and scrap it uh, that'll also speed it up quite a bit so if you don't want to use that cool and, and again, I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory, I think, but before your draft, do all the prep work. So, you know, the way I was saying to do kind of this difference and all that kind of good stuff, do that all before. Do all the calculations, put in all your, your, your numbers and everything way beforehand, and you'll be pretty solid then. It'll go a lot faster if everything is all ready to go and you're not really adjusting too much once the draft actually begins, aside from, you know, ranking or filtering out players. Uh, and other than that, that's pretty much it. Again, be sure to join our Discord if you have any questions, uh, constantly answering questions and fixing things in the tools channel, um, or hit us up on, on Twitter, 
at fan wrong wrong word. there we go at fantasy hockey pd uh and other than that thanks for listening watching and we will catch you next time